former New York City mayor, Rudy Giuliani, who also says there is now enough evidence for a racketeering case against Mrs. Clinton and the foundation. Mr. Mayor, great to have you with us, and uh, we appreciate your time. I have to ask your, your reaction. <laughs> I, I have to laugh. I mean, this is deadly serious stuff. But it is. I, uh, it this is, is deadly serious stuff, and it's absurd. Uh, it doesn't change my position, though. I thought Jim Comey was wrong back in July when he laid out a knockdown, drag out, absolutely overwhelming case of at least three or four violations of federal law, destroying 33,000 e uh, emails right. after getting a congressional subpoena, uh, lying and saying she had only one cell phone when in fact she had 13 and she destroyed some of them with a hammer. The others have disappeared. We don't know where they are. The FBI has never bothered to find out. Maybe they're in the East River and we've yeah. got to go dredge the East River uh, for them. Well, it, that, so that I would... thought his original decision, as you know, I was on your show several times, right. was uh, terribly wrong and uh, came to the wrong conclusion. When he reopened it with the 650,000 uh, emails on the, um, on the uh, server of an alleged uh, sexual pervert, Anthony Weiner, I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to really add something uh, to the recklessness. Now she's even more reckless than she was back in July. And then we find out about the maid having access to the classified material. That makes her even more reckless than she was back in July. I don't know when you get reckless enough right. to fit the gross negligence standard yeah. that uh, carries a five-year penalty of, uh, of jail, a felony. I mean, he found her extremely careless back in July. That would make her guilty of gross negligence. Yeah. Now, we add on that, Wiener and the maid, and the maid certainly having uh, access on a routine basis to classified information. We have to have gotten over the top of recklessness by now. And something strange is going on, but yeah. all well, I can tell you is this is a case that I would have prosecuted uh, months ago. And here's the other strange thing. As far as I know, this case has never been presented to a grand jury. Now, that's outrageous. Right. The as kind of violations know, Rudy, we're talking I, we, about here the Justice should Department. be presented to a grand jury, as well as the multi-million dollar fraud that is the Clinton Foundation and the Department of State. Well, they have not dismissed, uh, apparently, their interest in public corruption, although it's hard to believe they would preserve any kind of interest in prosecuting Hillary Clinton if they do not prosecute her for what is contained within this email uh, scandal. By the way, we should add, uh, Rudy, as you know, the maid, uh, Santos, also had full, apparently, according to New York Post uh, reporting, full access to a skiff. That is sensitive, compartmentalized information, yeah, yeah, classified, yeah. Is, top well, secret stuff in a room in, in the uh, Clinton house. Yeah, there's a, there's a sailor uh, in jail for one year for taking four pictures on a submarine because the submarine is considered classified and sending it to his mother. Yeah, so it, how do you think he feels when Hillary has uh, revealed secrets of far greater dimension to people who do not have top security clearance? And by having a private server at home, if China, Russia, Iran don't have all those documents, then we have nothing to worry about from them. Then they are completely incompetent at the game of hacking. Uh, it, it is absolutely extraordinary. And where does it leave the Justice Department, which looks utterly compromised because both Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton, the nominee, former Secretary of State, member of the Obama administration, and President Obama have said clearly, signaled in every way, uh, subtly and uh, absolutely overtly, uh, that they want the Justice Department to back off. And it looks as though they've not only backed off, uh, but they have put up roadblocks and brought a hammer with them, which, to which apparently James <laughs> Comey is responding. Well, I mean, the, the moment Loretta Lynch met uh, Bill Clinton on the tarmac in Arizona, at 120 degree temperature about four days before Hillary's uh, interview, uh, immediately she compromised the case. She said she was going to recuse herself. She hasn't. She's been involved in trying to talk Comey out of sending the original letter. She uh, took the review from Comey and didn't turn it over to one of her deputies. So she kind of recused herself, but she didn't. Highly unethical conduct. The Justice Department seems to have been the roadblock to the FBI getting this information before a grand jury. 
And we're talking about uh, somebody in the Justice Department who's a close friend of Podesta and gives him inside information, which we also mm -hmm. learned on WikiLeaks. So Peter uh, Hillary has really succeeded in corrupting two of our most important departments of government, the Justice Department, and she sold the State yeah. Department, you know, in cash for uranium for Russia, uh, intervention in the UBS tax case, uh, keeping Ericsson off the Iran sanctions list. Those companies yeah. altogether gave them about $100 million. They gave yeah. Bill about $10 million in speaking fees. And the, so, the uh, foundation... None of that. Everything, everything yeah. I've just said to you has not been presented to a federal grand jury. That's outrageous. It is outrageous, and, uh, it, and it just gets more so. And as you said, and I think the word applies uh, in almost limitless dimension, the absurdity of all of this compounds itself. And I, and, and I want your conclusion on this because I'm going to say this to sure. you. I believe after watching all that's unfolded just today, against the backdrop of all that preceded it uh, on the part of the Justice Department and the FBI. If there's anyone in this country who does not think the system is rigged, as Donald Trump puts it, I, I can't even imagine what they're thinking. How about you? Well, I don't, I don't think there's anyone in this country who doesn't think we have to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C., and that it is truly a swamp. And we need quickly post-Watergate-type reforms of the Justice Department and the State Department so they start working for the people and they stop being the corrupt entities of Clinton, Inc. With that, former Mayor Rudy Giuliani, thank you very much, Rudy. We appreciate it. Thank